All right, y'all. Uh, as I'm shooting this video, we about six days away from UFC 214, headlined by champion Daniel Cormier going against Bones Jones. Right now, here's the thing: this is like the 50th time this fight has, has uh, supposed to taken place, and uh, be honest with you. I'm still holding my breath until the actual day of the damn fight because last time they were supposed to fight, like it was like a day or two, Jones got busted for steroid use or erectile dysfunction or some type of sex pill shit he was taking, whatever. So he couldn't um, actually fight, right? And that was a fucking huge letdown. I mean, I remember that. It was just, oh, it was like, it was just whack. Anyway, so we about six days away and everything looked cool, right? Now, Here's the thing. I like Daniel Cormier, man. I, I do. And I'm pulling for him. I actually was pulling for him. Now, you should be following. If you're watching the damn video, you should know what's up. But they fought one time before. I think it was like two and a half years ago. Cormier fought uh, uh, Jones. And Jones beat him uh, in a decision, right? Nobody got knocked out. Nobody got choked out. But it went to the, you know, went the whole five rounds. And Jones won, right? And I was pulling for Cormier. In that fight too right now keep in mind Jones is a bad motherfucker don't get me wrong I just like I just like him yeah you know so anyway this time around I'm still pulling for uh, Cormier man I really think he could get it done and if you if you're being honest since uh, uh, Jones beat Cormier a few years ago Daniel Cormier had been beating all kinds of ass I mean he didn't beat Gustafson he beat Rumble Johnson did he beat him twice I think he did. I think he beat Rumble twice, didn't he? Uh, and he beat, uh, who the hell? He beat somebody else, too. But anyway, he been 4-0 since that ass, uh, I don't want to say ass woman, but since he lost to Jones, right? So anyway, I'm getting all excited, but then I was watching UFC last night, uh, fight night or whatever, and they showed the interview. Uh, 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 Daniel Cormier was on, on one side of the screen, and Jones was on the other side, man. Damn, Jones, Jones looked like a beast. He was like a killer and shit. He got his hair shaved off. She got the little goatee. He looked like a fucking monster. Kind of scaring me and shit. I ain't gonna lie. But then you got Daniel, who still he he uh, confident as ever. Uh, and the boy, like I said, he he been killing dudes lately. So I'm very 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 excited about this fight and hopefully shit goes down and honestly i do want uh cormier to win mainly because i do got 20 bucks on, on the fight with the guys i, I, I do jujitsu with that's first and foremost that's the most important but secondly it'd be nice to be able to do a trilogy fight similar to what the hell connor and uh, nate diaz should be doing the trilogy fight whatever but if cormier win it's gonna set it up for that third fight probably in december or some shit to be honest with you right but anyway Hopefully this fight goes on. DC versus Jones, UFC 214. I'll be watching that shit. But even if for some strange reason this fight don't go down, this card is the shit. You got uh, Donald Cerrone fighting Robbie Lawler. You got Chris Seibert, uh fighting that one chick. I forget her name. No disrespect. Uh, and you got Tyron Woodley versus Damian Maya. I like Woodley, too. That's my dude, man. He, he, that's a bad boy, too. But anyway, so the whole car should be just phenomenal. And I will be doing a, a video the day after to get my thoughts on it. But anyway, Cormier versus Jones. I got Cormier. Who you got?